What's happening now across the Niagara frontier? News stories, old stories, stuff you know about and stuff you'd never believe. It's the Niagara Hub Soapbox with Craig Avery. Today we have Rick Krogan. Rick Krogan is back. How are you doing? With a vengeance. Not really. He's Not gonna really. He's stuff done. Rick, you've, uh, you've set up, the first thing we want to talk to you about is the uh, Meet the Candidates Night. Tell us why is that going to be different than all the other Meet the Candidates Nights here. Well, first of all, I've never been to a Meet the Candidate Night in this city at all, since I've been home. So, of course, uh, this year I've got pulled into the whole political aspect of things, and it's real important that we uh, take a look and we get people out to come out and vote and actually look and see what the candidates are doing. The Hamster Group uh, decision really pushed me over the edge and that's when I stepped down from Main Street as a president um, because I wanted to be able to reach out to people and, and, and really put some effort in getting the, uh, the word out and people to know the candidates and see who's out there and make the right choice and get people out to vote. So how is this going to be different? They've done the they've done debates, column, meet the candidate, this whatever. Is, they've done that at the library before. What's going to be different? It, this is not at the library. This is going to be held. Uh, John Hutchins and Mark Valino called me uh, and invited me to do it at the Rapids because we had originally uh, slated to do it at the conference center, but we could only hold 50 people, and it got much larger than that that we're getting a response for. So the Rapids Theater on Main Street is going to have it 6 o'clock, August 26th, on a Monday evening. Um, but it isn't a debate. It is not anything like that. There's not going to... it. What I've done is I've, I've gotten seven uh, panelists and an optional one just in case someone can't make it. And I've talked to these people, and these are people from around the city, businessmen, businesswomen, people that have a concerned issue for their neighborhood, for how we're growing the city, what we're going to do for protection, how we're going to increase our, our, you know, our, uh, our image is a big thing that comes across in schooling and how to change where we are in Niagara Falls. Um, I did not want anybody that was involved with block club, with committees, with business associations such as myself, um, anybody with agenda, we wanted people to be completely biased. So I had asked each individual to give me five to ten questions that they thought were pertinent and that would focus on that we would want to ask the candidates. Not one question is to be singled out towards any candidate. Um, it is a general question that each and every single one of them will then answer. How many are there, each and every single one of them? How many candidates? These are candidates for council only? Yes, yeah, city council only. And how many are there? We have seven candidates, and then we have seven people on the panel, and the panel will do two to three questions. We'll narrow it down to two to three, and then follow up after everybody's answered all the 14 questions or 21 depends on how fast we get through them then we'll do follow up on on one of the questions the most important out of the two that they ask they will go back and we'll do follow up um, and seven candidates and all seven have agreed to yeah, Sounds everybody's going to be everybody's there in. I've called every single person I've arranged with channel 2 uh, Mary Ellis Demler and I had a conversation and I uh, connected with each and every candidate and she did separate interviews with each one so she can profile them this week before um, our Meet the Candidate okay. and then they will be there streaming live on their website. So it's it, it, it really made a difference. It, a lot of people jumped on the bandwagon for this, so it is important to people that the outcome of this election is is right. is what the people and want. The, and the panelists are, are confidential at this point, kind of like American Idol judges or something? They really are. I don't want, you know, I'm sure Howard people Stern are saying, you know, I'd love to have Howard Stern. He'd be good. Um, you know, um, I didn't want people to pressure them. Yeah, that's true. To, so they, you know, but they're going to be, they're not going to come in with 
shopping bags over their heads. Or no, so we're going to meet um, Thursday night. We're meeting at my house, and we're going through all the questions, and we're going to figure which ones are appropriate, what we're going to do, because a lot of them are duplicates already that we see, and we've asked people, you know, come up with something else that's, you know, that might be better, or grow on that question. It's not strong enough to really get a good response that we're going to push the envelope. Um, and what we'll do, once we get those questions figured out, and I'm protecting my butt on every level because I've already been crucified once through emails from someone. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's I've right. gotten a few. Who in the hell do you think you are? And I'm a concerned citizen that wants to make a change in the city. I have an investment in the city like you have with what you're doing in the city, which I praise. But I just did that Niagara Falls Music and Art Festival. It isn't going away. That was a huge success. So I want to make sure. I'm representing our city and the people that are representing us are doing the right thing this time. Right. So right. what we're going to do with the questions is we will have a fishbowl. Questions will be printed and put in there with the author's name. The candidate will then pick their own question. So this way nobody's saying, well, you said that to this one or you, you know, we're trying to protect ourselves as much as we possibly can although I hate it to be that strict but it's it has mm, to that's be cool. you know now, of course your meeting I wanted to correct it it's really not happening Thursday night at your house because it's an anonymous meeting and you can't you have right. to you, otherwise you're gonna have people like the hub sitting in the bushes with cameras seeing who comes. Well, you guys are there. I, I, you're coming so, Friday night. I'm having a barbecue, so, so you uh -oh. can. <laughs> uh, no, no. But anyway, so yeah. you will. Uh, I wanted to make sure that, yeah. that that was a fictitious date of your secret right. meeting of the. Uh, we may and we may not. It doesn't hole. matter. But um, let's see what else we have for it. Well, uh, I'm sorry, and uh, and the Hutchins and crew there at the Rapids are gonna. Put out the welcome mat. Yeah. For anybody that hasn't been to the Rapids Theater, it's a great opportunity for you just to see that building. It is. It's, it's phenomenal. Magnificent. It's an example of what could happen in this city. Yep. And uh, you know, John has worked very hard at, at, at doing that, and just to get get on the map and have a, a, a city event there, I think that's a that's a big strategy. Yeah, that there. was so a big that was a big draw. Let's for get a us. big crowd. How many people can they put in there? Just like a regular concert, so they could do up to three thousand people if they wanted. So three thousand of you, come on out. We need everyone that is a registered voter to get their butt out there, and if they're not registered, they should be registered. But they need to come out and uh, listen to what's being said. The format for the candidates are: they will get to when they come in. We will introduce everyone. They will have five minutes to do their platform to a quick synopsis, synopsis of what they believe in, where they're at, yada, yada, yada. Boom, that's it, then go sit down. So well, that's 35 minutes. Right, right there. Of introduction. Yeah. So then we'll do our first round of questions and we're gonna keep them at two minutes. Might be difficult, it depends on how strong the questions are. We may move it to three minutes. So they have three minutes. And are you I have a buzzer, or what are you gonna? We're gonna have a gonna yeah. Run, we protected you... ourselves the same way there. Thank we will that. have a clock person that's that, that's biased. That's gonna say it's boom, you're done, whatever. I personally have told each and every candidate if you get out of hand and if you scream and you holler and you interrupt, you will be warned once. If you do it a second time. You will be asked to leave politely, and I will place a picture of you on your seat. It says, I have nothing to lose. This is for the city. You're working for us. And if you're not going to re represent yourself there in, our, in the public uh, theater in front of your constituents, what are you going to do behind closed doors? Sure. All right. Well, that's good. I don't think we'll have to worry about that, but you never know. We'll things, see. Stranger things have happened. If John serves booze, we might. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be a great opportunity also, just to relax, have everybody relaxed and have a little enjoying cocktail. Enjoying the business. And, and, um, yeah, because there's not going to be a lot of audience participation because there will be, you know, all the questions will be slated. If people do have questions, we are asking them 
to email them to me at racrogan at AOL.com so we can review all the questions and then consider those and those will be extra questions at the end that we can say resident Shlomo Goldberg came up with this they want to know how you feel about this boom and then ask it so this way Joe Public can get their get their information out and if the crowd is screaming for an encore you'll have more questions to ask we'll have to I mean if that's what they want it's it goes on as long as they want it to go on that's going to be on top of the stage yeah they'll be just sitting there and very good that's it people walk up you know, see their All questions right. what else you got going anything ah uh, we're doing our pop-up art galleries we're working on that and about that what is it um art galleries? well we have you know Third Street's our entertainment district. You know you have your property there and you just invest and bought another piece of property. We are trying to um, continue that growth of the entertainment district being down there, bringing the, you know, the arts and the music and uh, the people to downtown. Uh, Saturday night, the wine bar did live art on the street. The street was packed. It was great. People were up and down, stopping all ages from 18 to probably 75. Okay. It was excellent. Stop, pull over, have a cocktail. They wanted to see what was going on. Walked up and down. Tourists came up, went next door, went had pizza, stood out there, talked to the artists. So we've been working on, I've been working on some things with uh, Brooke D'Angelo and Mary Grace and uh, Andrea Galen and a few other people, uh, quite a few other artists that are interested in being part of this and they want to set up a pop-up gallery what we would do is we go into one of the empty storefronts similar to yours that we have go in open it up do events on Friday Saturday nights to show people let them come in bring people to that to that street so this way they can see you know wow could this be you know we're looking at it as it cannot can this be a potential business for us oh. and what we can do besides that Perfect. Um, so that's a good thing and then we're working on um, murals for the city we're gonna start dressing up the city and we're painting walls there's about 10 artists that are getting together and we're gonna do uh, murals all over the city um, predominantly we're going to start in the entertainment district because that's what we want to do we want to clean that up we want it fun similar to Austin Texas to Nashville um, really hip towns I just came back from Atlanta they do the same thing and it's really great mm. um, and it stops the graffiti it just creates a whole different so look. You're going to be painting the sides of buildings? With yep, these like the side of your building Very or cool. like the side of, uh, we're going to do Ice House, which is that whole stretch yeah. that everybody sees when they're standing in line to go to, uh, sure. go back to Canada. When's that going to start? Um, ASAP. Good. Let's get it going. Yeah, so we're waiting. The artists are doing their ideas and their renditions of what they want to put up there. This way the owners can approve what they want because, you know, we want to keep it uh, fresh, clean. You don't want anything inappropriate. Um, you know, we want it to be cool. We want people to turn around and say, oh, my God, how cool. You know, so uh, Great. we're looking forward to that. Well, lots going on. We'll see you on Monday night. Yep. Six o'clock. August 27th. No, six. August 26th. Monday night, Six o'clock. Rapids, Rapids Theater. We'll put it on the bottom of the screen so that they don't listen to me. Cool. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, sir. Yeah.